Good morning, this is Chris from CL Hobbs, uh, live from the Builder Bear Workshop for Grips. Uh, this being the uh, slider section. Um, uh, this is the section for where you uh, are going to build your uh, GF slider. We've got all the different rail sizes here and you build your slider with all the different accessories. It's still being fixed out with uh, all the drawers and all the different pieces but you'll be able to build your slider. That's not actually the reason we're here. This is part of the ongoing uh, GF Primo series and what I'm actually doing is I'm controlling the GF Primo from way back here via Bluetooth and in uh, today's video we're going to be looking at how the handset works, how the programming works, how the uh, ramping and the speed works and how the limit works. So let's uh, take a look at that and run you through that system now. So the beauty of the Primo is I have complete wireless control over the boom uh, which allows me to do whatever I want wirelessly which is kind of wonderful. So today in the course we're going to run through how this works uh, and how we can do ramps, we can do speed, can't control distant machinery but we'll see how we go. Um, so first of all let's look at uh, ramps. So ramps is, I'll just dial up the speed a little bit first and it'll make it more obvious. Ramps is how quickly we're going to come into a stop and I was thinking how best to explain it. So on, sh on, on some shows if you look at something like a, uh, a high speed action show where they're going to have a lot of camera movement uh, a lot of those sort of interview shows where they're doing you know high stakes drama and they're doing a lot of whip pans here there and everywhere um, they'll often not feather in as well so it's something that you can often you can you can offer as well is that you can have um, fast stops as well and that will be your feathering so the camera will stop and go fast to the next spot so we can uh, put that in with the ramp, so we, uh, with our ramp feathering, we reduce it right down to zero, and it just stops. As soon as I take my finger off, it stops, and goes to the next one, wherever we want it to be. Now, if we were doing some kind of uh, romantic drama or whatever it was, and everything was going to be very smooth, whatever it was going to be, um, we can dial those ramps right up, and everything is going to be very, very smooth, those transitions. Each time I take my finger off, it smoothly goes into the stop. So you've got all those options to play with in terms of how fast or how slow it goes, it comes into, this, into the stop. Uh, speed, we have from uh, 0 up to 22. So at the moment it's at 22. So we'll go to our full, we'll go down to bottom. And we go top. This is our top speed. This is down to the bottom. And I can't think of off the top of my head, I should have done my homework before this, of what the speed is, but it'll come up on the screen now. What the column speed is. And the height will have a clever thing on the screen telling you what the height is. And remembering when we're gauging what that height is, it's going to be measured to the top of a euro there, which is uh, to that point there. So remembering to factor in you, with your camera build. So you're going to be, uh, you know, building off however you're going to have camera coming off here. I always guesstimate, you know, uh, lens is about sensor is about there, um, so building all all those things in as well. Um, next on here, so we've got speed. Um, then uh, let me think in here. Then we've got the limits. There's a lovely feature in here where you can actually put the limit range on it, so that um, say we uh, say we had 
uh, we were, for some reason, we were going to do something like this. We were going to offset. And, uh, point this towards you on the camera there. And, uh, there's a window frame or something like this and it's from here to about here so we want to uh, well, I suppose with our camera package it's going to be here to here something like that um, and so we want to make our limit range from there to there we can actually use this on our limit here and we can set our limit so we'll make that the bottom and then I'll drive it up And I'll make that the top. And now it won't go below that, and it won't go above that. And you'll see on the screen here when we do these screen grabs what that limit range is. So interestingly, with the limit function, it doesn't give you a bottom limit or a top limit, it gives you uh, the limit, the limit range. So you you set the limit range which includes the bottom and the top it's the limit range so you set that in there